Today's project starts off with some round bar in the lathe. We're making the spacers that the track is going to mount to. And I need four of these. Turn them out pretty quick on the turret lathe. But while we're here, we also need the rollers. So that's what I'm working on here. I apologize for the uh, camera there. I didn't realize it had uh, got some oil on it. But this is two inch bar and it's just got a hole in the middle and a groove for the track. This here is quarter by two inch flat bar. Just cut to length and I'm gonna have four mounting uh, bolts in it, evenly spaced. So of course they have to be drilled for those bolts. And once they're drilled, we'll just come back and deburr all the holes. And then just use the random DA to put a finish on it. So I figured out how much space I wanted between the bottom of the track and the top of the door. And I put a spacer under the door. That way I could uh, use the door as a, a prop of sorts. And of course leveled it up. Now I can lay the track on top of the door and mark the mounting holes. Of course once I'm confident that's where I want it. And come back and drill the holes. And this is the back side of a bookshelf. The uh, the wall between these two rooms is a, a wooden bookshelf. So we have access to the other side. We can push those bolts through. And then of course the spacers. And then the track itself. So once this is all secure, then the track's done. But now we have to make the brackets to mount the wheels to the door. I want these to be pretty similar, so I taped them together. Just to make it easier to cut and to profile them to the same shape. And also to make sure that the holes were drilled in the same place on both of them. So with those done, just hit them with the sander as well. So it wasn't until right about here that I realized I probably should have put two holes on the bottom of this bracket to keep the bracket from pivoting. But it hasn't been much of a problem yet, and if it ends up to be a problem, I can always make new brackets. So with those mounted, I can mount the wheels to the door. I did thread those brackets so that I could tighten them and then put a nut on the other side to set the tension. So this is pretty much it, except these bolts here stick out too far. So we'll take a hacksaw. I was going to use an angle grinder, but being that it's our bedroom, I didn't want to send sparks everywhere. So I just used a hacksaw. And that's it.
handles nice and smooth doesn't take up any real space when it's open or closed space is a big issue in our place that's gonna solve a problem for us well that's it thanks for watching